Louis Vuitton reigns supreme as the most valuable luxury fashion brand worldwide. But did you know that its founder's journey to the top was nothing short of extraordinary? Born into poverty, Louis Vuitton faced homelessness during his teenage years with no formal education and even slept in the forest. Despite these challenges, he built an empire that has catapulted him to become the second wealthiest person globally with a net worth of $180 billion. Louis Vuitton's story is a classic rags-to-riches tale that inspires people around the world. The luxury brand started as a tiny family business and transformed into a powerhouse that shaped the fashion industry. However, along with success came controversy, including hostile takeovers, numerous lawsuits and other challenges. Despite these setbacks, Louis Vuitton remained resilient and the brand continues to dominate the industry today. From humble beginnings to global domination, Louis Vuitton and Louis Vuitton stories serve as a testament to the power of hard work, determination and innovation. Their legacies will undoubtedly continue to inspire generations to come. Louis Vuitton's early life was marked by hardship and struggle. Born in 1821 in a small French village called Anchi, he grew up without electricity or running water. His family's financial difficulties meant that he had to work long hours on their farm without the benefit of an education. Despite these challenges, Louis remained determined to forge a brighter future for himself. Tragically, Louis lost his mother at a young age and his father's new wife proved to be a source of conflict and control. Feeling trapped and unhappy at home, Louis made the brave decision to run away to Paris at just 13 years old, leaving everything behind without saying goodbye. Although Louis Vuitton's early life was filled with adversity, his resilience and determination are inspiring. His story reminds us that no matter what obstacles we face, we have the power to shape our own destiny and create a better future for ourselves. Louis Vuitton's journey to Paris was filled with hardship as he had to walk 225 miles along dirt roads with no money or food. He often slept in the woods and did odd jobs in exchange for food or coins, struggling to find shelter for the night. Despite these challenges, Louis's resourcefulness and willingness to learn new skills allowed him to gain valuable experience working with metal, stone, fabric and wood. When he finally reached Paris after three long years, Louis was able to secure a job as an apprentice boxmaker and packer. This job introduced him to the upper class, who were looking for custom-made luggage for their travels. Louis worked hard and learned the craft, and his fine craftsmanship caught the attention of the Empress of France in 1851. She appointed him as her personal boxmaker and packer, a prestigious honor that marked a significant turning point in Louis's life. From a homeless teenager to a respected artisan in the world of luxury, Louis Vuitton's journey is a testament to the power of hard work and perseverance. His story is an inspiration to anyone who has ever faced adversity and is a reminder that anything is possible with dedication and determination. Despite facing tremendous challenges early in life, Louis Vuitton persevered and built an incredible career for himself. After years of odd jobs and apprenticeships, he eventually became the personal box maker and packer for the Emperor of France. But Vuitton didn't stop here. He used his skills and experience to start his own business, which revolutionized the luggage industry. By replacing heavy leather with lightweight, durable canvas and introducing flat tops to the trunks, Vuitton's luggage was more stackable and efficient than ever before. Thanks to his reputation and connections, his new line was an instant hit and he even created a catalogue to showcase his products. In just two years, Louis Vuitton has achieved remarkable success as an entrepreneur and designer. The wealthy elite coveted them as a chic and necessary accessory, elevating them to a status symbol. The brand's immense popularity attracted orders from all corners of the world, including from royals in far-off lands like Egypt in 1859. With the influx of orders, Louis was able to expand his business and hire a team of skilled craftsmen to meet the growing demand. He set up a new workshop on the outskirts of Paris and hired 20 employees to aid in production. As travel by train and boat became more commonplace, the market for high-quality luggage expanded, reaching a wider range of consumers beyond the affluent. Louis Vuitton seemed poised for a lifetime of success. However, tragedy struck once again 
when France was plunged into war and Louis Vuitton faced unexpected challenges. During the Franco-Prussian War, Louis Vuitton has to flee his home and seek shelter in dark conditions. His shop was destroyed upon his return, but Louis refused to give up and used his savings to rebuild his business, vowing to make it even better than before. Due to the large number of people who were displaced by the war, there was an abundance of vacant shops available for rent in Paris. Seizing the opportunity, Louis Vuitton opened his new shop in a prestigious location frequented by wealthy aristocrats, right next to the railway station and the Grand Hotel. In 1872, he introduced a new design of luggage made from beige canvas with stripes, which became immensely popular and showcased a modern style. Despite other brands attempting to imitate his design, customers continued to prefer Louis Vuitton's bags for their exceptionally high quality for the next two decades. Louis Vuitton worked at his new Paris shop until his death at the age of 70. But his son, George, took over and expanded the brand globally, including opening a popular store in London, allowing his father's legacy to live on. As Louis Vuitton luggage gained popularity, counterfeits became a problem. To combat this, George Vuitton created the LV monogram in 1896 and added an innovative lock to the trunks. By 1900, the company grew rapidly and trained employees extensively. In 1925, Coco Chanel commissioned a dome-shaped handbag that would eventually become the successful Alma. This inspired Louis Vuitton to create more small leather bags revolutionizing fashion for men. After George Baton's death in 1936, his son Gaston Louis took over during Second World War, which forced the company to shut down and cancel contracts. Despite the challenges, Louis Vuitton's legacy persevered. Did you know that Louis Vuitton, one of the most iconic luxury brands in the world, had to collaborate with the Nazi Germany in order to survive during the Second World War? It's a dark part of their history that the company tried to keep hidden, but author Stephanie Bond Vinci uncovered the truth while researching for her book Louis Vuitton, A French Saga. While other fashion brands were shutting down because they refused to work with the Nazis, Louis Vuitton was able to open up a glamorous shop in the Hotel de Parc. Some may argue that Gaston Vuitton, who was in charge at the time, did what he needed to do in order to save the company. But regardless of how you feel about their actions during that time, it's fascinating to see how the company has evolved over the years. Now in its fourth generation of family ownership, Louis Vuitton is still one of the most recognizable and coveted luxury brands in the world. Henry's bold decisions and strategic moves helped Louis Vuitton become one of the most recognizable and successful luxury brands in the world. He not only took the company public, but also merged it with Moe Hennessy, creating a powerhouse of luxury goods. But as often happens in the business world, Henry's plans didn't go exactly as he intended. Despite his efforts to manage the situation, his decision to bring in Bernardo No as an investor resulted in him losing control of the company to No and the Moe Hennessy families. Nevertheless, the legacy of Louis Vuitton lives on as a symbol of luxury and prestige, standing the test of time and evolving with the changing tides of the fashion industry. Despite the turbulent history of Louis Vuitton, it has emerged as one of the most iconic luxury fashion brands in the world. From its humble beginnings as a small Parisian store to a global corporation, the brand has certainly come a long way. Its collaborations with world-renowned designers have continued to set the standard for high fashion and the LD monogram has become a symbol of prestige and luxury. And while the brand's past may be controversial, it has certainly contributed to its rise to fame. Today, Louis Vuitton stands as a testament to the enduring power of fashion and its ability to capture the imagination of people from all walks of life. Despite the counterfeit issue, Louis Vuitton remained one of the most iconic and desirable luxury brands in the world. Its handbags and accessories are still highly sought after by people from all walks of life. In recent years, the brand has continued to push the boundary of luxury fashion by collaborating with contemporary artists and designers. For example, in 2019, Louis Vuitton teamed up with the artist Jeff Koons to create a collection of handbags featuring famous work of art such as the Mona Lisa and Vincent van Gogh's Wheatfield with Cypresses. 
Today, Louis Vuitton is a global brand with a presence in over 50 countries. The company's success can be attributed to the vision and hard work of its founder, Louis Vuitton, as well as the subsequent generations of the Vuitton family and the talented designers and executives who have helped to shape the brand over the years. While the brand has certainly has its ups and downs, Louis Vuitton remains a shining example of how a small family-owned business can evolve into a global powerhouse with a lasting impact on the world of fashion and luxury. So there you have it, the incredible story of Louis Vuitton, from a young boy with a dream to a global luxury conglomerate worth billions of dollars. It's amazing to see how one person's vision and determination can change the course of history. Today, Louis Vuitton continues to set the standard of luxury fashion and accessories, inspiring designers and consumers alike. We hope you enjoyed learning about the fascinating history of this iconic brand. Thanks for watching.